All right, let's go back through here. I'm going to delete everything except for our cube. So I'm going to hit, uh, go down here to hit delete, hit always OK. And let's get rid of everything but that original cube here. So we hit Z to bring our um, spotlight options back. Let's go ahead and unify or uh, tile all these. And we'll talk about a couple more options. So let's take the sphere out here. And let's say, you know what, I want to make some uh, changes to the sphere. But I don't want to lose this original sphere. So what you can do is you can do it in here and you can hit duplicate. And now you have a duplicate sphere. And this one you can just stick right back down in there if you want to. And now you can play with this sphere. So I'm going to center this gizmo right on that sphere. And we'll go ahead and put that sphere over this object. Now again, we know if we hold down Alt and click, that's going to do a spotlight of a subtractive mesh here. And we can hit uh, go out of polyframe mode. And you can see it's cut a hole right through that object. Uh, but it is just a live Boolean mesh. If we turn on polyframe here and we hit W, you can actually back this off a little bit. And you can see that we can just make that you know, a little bit more shallow a cut. We don't have to cut all the way through the object. And also we have all the freedom in the world to go through here. And you can scale this up and down. You can scale it non-uniformly, uh, all that good stuff. Now let's say you wanted to extend uh, this object out. Oddly enough, or awesomely enough, you can hit W and you actually have a, a gizmo in here. There's an extend option in there, so you can go to extender. You can extend it out. And so now when you go through here, you can see that you have uh, an extended live Boolean tool that you've created. However, you can also do that in the alpha. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's do Shift Z and then Z again. And we'll go ahead and center this right back on there. So over here, you can see there's a, a bunch of options. Uh, first one is tile, so you can tile vertically and you can tile horizontally. And if you hold down shift, it'll tile horizontally and vertically at the same time. And that's kind of cool too. So if you can, you can tile all of these things. And again, if you hold down alt and do a snapshot, now you can just punch all those holes through there. Let's go ahead and delete that subtool here and hold down shift. And we'll just go back to our original uh, sphere here. Uh, you can also see we have extend, so we can extend vertically and you can also undo. So everything you do, if you extend vertically or you tile vertically, you can hit control Z, it'll undo all your spotlight options. You can also extend, oops, extend horizontally here. And then you can extend horizontally and then you can extend vertically. Vertically. Now, this extension is happening right where this gizmo is. So if you wanted to extend from like this top point here, just move that gizmo up, and then you can extend from that point. So let's keep extending uh, horizontally here. I'm going to go ahead and reset this gizmo back to the middle, and we'll keep extending horizontally. And we'll go ahead and move this down here. Let's hold down Shift, and then hold down Alt. We can punch that through, and we just made a shape like this. Now, let's say you wanted to swap this alpha out with another uh, alpha over here. You can just, you know, drag this thing out of the way and go grab something else if you wanted to like punch in this keyhole here. Let's go ahead and scale this up. And again, we can hold down Alt and go ahead and punch that through. However, you can also leave this sitting right here. You can uh, turn on this quick select. So with this quick select option turned on, as you go over here and tap, it'll actually swap those alphas for you. So you can keep that right in place here. So if it's like, you know what, I didn't actually want this one. Let's go ahead and delete that. I really wanted this shape here. And then you can hold down Alt and cut through there. And now you've got this shape. I'll go ahead and delete that. And just like the other one, you can go ahead and extend. You can extend vertically from where that gizmo is, extend horizontally. and if your gizmo happens to be off over here to the side, you can hold down shift and it'll extend horizontally and vertically regardless of where that gizmo center is. This is really just if you want to like extend it from a specific point, you can extend it like that. Also down here is flip horizontally and flip vertically. So we snap this to the middle. Uh, you can flip it here. You can uh, horizontally. Horizontally is not going to make a huge difference. However, if we rotate this to the right, now you can flip horizontally and flip uh, vertically here. If you hold down shift, and flip vertically and horizontally, duplicate whatever's on this side to whatever's on that side. And that'll also come in handy when we start making our own alphas in a bit. One more thing I want to mention uh, in this section anyways is to uh, think about, oops, let's go ahead and turn off uh, quick select here. Think about how large the alpha is on your screen relative to the other objects when you use it. Uh, for instance, if I just click snapshot with this one selected, and then I go down here and I make this object much, much bigger, much, much bigger, and then I hit snapshot again, you're going to see on this one here, if we alt tap this one, we go into solo mode, we kind of zoom in a little bit, or hit F to frame, you're going to see uh, it's a little bit goopier, the eyeballs are stuck to the O's. And if we look up here at the poly count, the active points is a 10,000. If we go out of solo mode and we alt tap this one, you're going to see we use the exact same alpha, only it took up a lot more screen space. And if we look at the poly count, polygon counts, it's uh, 31,000 and the eyes are separated. Uh, you're also going to notice when we did that, that the it's Z here, you're going to see that these letters are a little bit sharper than what's actually happening here. You can change that in your preferences under preferences spotlight. Uh, by default, Spotlight Border Triangles is on. This already is going to help you maintain sharper angles when you're creating your meshes. Uh, however, you can also say uh, Snapshot Retain Corners, you can crank that up, and Snapshot Smoothing, you can crank that down. So now, 
If I do a snapshot image here, you can see there's a difference between this one here, it's a little bit rounder, then this one here, it's a little bit tighter. All right, let's start a little bit fresh here. I'm gonna go out of edit mode and hit Control N to clear my canvas. Let's just grab a Poly Mesh 3D star, go into edit mode. And for this one, let's go ahead and hit Z. Let's go ahead and grab this alpha and we'll go ahead and scale it up. And we'll snap that to the middle. Let's go and extend this. Uh, we can extend it horizontally. We'll snap it to the middle of our star here. And let's talk about this frame option right here. So if you just click frame, and then go to the left and go to the right, you can see you can make a thicker frame around that object. Now, if you stop and then do frame again, it's going to frame uh, whatever you had left. So basically, if we undo that, and of course you can undo back through here, if we turn on this quick select and say we grab this one here, and then we try frame with this one, you're gonna see it's just going to frame that outside silhouette. So let's go switch back to that simple shape here and then we'll turn off quick select. The other cool thing is if you hold down alt and frame, it'll just shrink that alpha down. And if you hold down shift and frame, it'll expand that alpha up. And if you want to do a combination, you can go ahead and say, okay, let's hold down alt and we'll shrink this down a little bit. And then we'll hold down uh, nothing. And then we'll just go ahead and frame that result. And then if you hold down shift, we can kind of fatten up that result. And then if you let go and just do nothing, now you get a framed uh, mesh like this. And now if you just click the snapshot 3D and we do shift Z, you're gonna see we have, this is the resulting alpha or I'm sorry, the resulting geometry.